Hey everybody, it's Dan here with the Kayak Guys, and today I'm going to give you all a brief overview of some of the changes and modifications that I've made to my sailboat project since the last video. For starters, you can see that I've got my mud motor mounted on a much more solid mount right now. I ended up making a false transom for this boat out of uh, some 2x12s and fiberglass and over the whole thing and you can also see that I've added these 2x4 runners on the side of the boat. This helps increase the stability and reinforcement of the fiberglass on the top of the boat. It'll give me something to attach my blind to at a later point in time and it also helps give me a little bit extra freeboard in case we get a big wave that wants to come up over the top of the boat. Another thing that I've done is I've added an extra cleat here and here and purchased a couple old dock lines. This is something that you might not think about when you're modifying your duck boat, but it's going to be really handy to be able to launch the boat and tie off to a dock while I load gear and stuff like that. I also added a small handle up here. I also added a paddle and I added an anchor as well. I've also cut out a little bit more of the fiberglass since the last video. In the last video that you saw, the fiberglass came clear up to about right here. I cut a little bit more of that out to give me some more room in the cockpit of the boat as well as uh, to better facilitate the mounting of my false transom for my motor mount. Last thing I did was add a little hatch back here so that I can access this area. This entire boat is hollow, there's no foam in it anywhere. And so when I put the false transom in, it did not allow me to access the space between the false transom and the actual transom of the boat. So I added a little screw in hatch so that I could get in there to clean out debris, unclog my transom drain plug, things like that. As you can see, there's my false transom. I've got some more supports that are coming back and screwed in to the fiberglass in order to give me a little bit more support, make a more solid mount. And I have also screwed in underneath the boat as well to all of this. Uh, every screw hole that I made into the boat has been covered with fiberglass and all of the wood that I put on this boat has also been covered in fiberglass for waterproofing. Uh, and so I added this air filter and I also rejetted the carburetor. I can end up uh, getting about 12 miles an hour with this setup with a six and a half inch. Break. One of the last things that I decided to do to my duck boat for the season before I go with building the blind is I wanted to raptor line the whole thing. Uh, obviously the bright blue and white is going to stick out like a sore thumb and I did not want to just put a flat coat of spray paint over the whole thing for durability reasons. So I had an idea of doing a little truck bed liner, like a spraying truck bed liner, and did a bit of research, and it seemed like there was a couple other people who had used a uh, Raptor liner to coat their boats with and had some success with it, so I decided to try it as well. Uh, everything you see here uh, I got in a kit, for about $100 on eBay. It came with four quarts of the Raptor Liner Spray, uh, one little metal jug of hardener that you can see me mixing in there, and then it came with the spray gun and a regulator as well. You will need an air compressor, uh, but I was able to use a little 21 gallon compressor from Harbor Freight that I already had, and it was more than enough to keep up with the spray gun running it up. So right now the Raptor liner is drying. I just got everything sprayed. Uh, for reference, this is a 14 and a half foot boat. And it took about three quarts, not quite three quarts of Raptor liner to do the entire thing front to back. And I also, I Raptor lined all the wood and then I got all of the inside as well, clear up to about there. If I had used the full third quart instead of moving on to my kayak, I could have got a lot more up in there. Uh, you can see the texture on this is pretty good. I sprayed it at about 40 PSI and uh, it's drying right now, so I'm not gonna touch it. 
but I am pretty happy with how this has turned out so far.